Hello everyone. Today's tip and trick of the day is the three things you need to know about Bill 184. Bill 184 affecting residential tenancies is now the law in Ontario. Based on the reaction of Toronto City Council, tenant advocates and landlords, you would think the sky is falling, but this is not true. For years, I have received the same number of complaints from landlords and tenants, whether it was about landlords providing poor services or tricking tenants into terminating their leases. And on the other hand, professional tenants who did not pay any rent, bounced checks or damaged the property. What this said to me in total was if everyone is complaining, the law may not be so bad after all. The current Bill 184 addressed major concerns by both landlords and tenants. Here are three things you need to know. Number one, penalties were increased against individual landlords who violate the Act. Further provisions were inserted to dissuade a landlord not to try and trick a tenant into vacating, whether pretending to move in with their family or trying to sell to a buyer. An individual can now be fined up to $50,000 per, per occurrence and a corporation up to $250,000 per occurrence. In addition, the compensation that may be ordered to be paid to a tenant who was tricked can now be up to the equivalent of 12 months rent. Number two, landlords now do not have to sue in small claims court for any arrears or damages if the tenant has vacated the unit. But the landlord can now go directly to the landlord and tenant board for relief. Number three, the major issue raised by tenant advocates is that somehow landlords can now unilaterally evict tenants without a, a hearing based on unreasonable offers to settle outstanding rent arrears. This is not true. Landlords and tenants have always been able to make a deal in advance about an eviction. And if the tenant broke the agreement, the landlord could always apply for an eviction without a hearing, but the tenant could still dispute the eviction anyways. Thus, thus in short, nothing has really changed. The main lesson to remember is we are still all in this together. Stay healthy, and stay, staying, sa staying safe should be our main focus. And landlords and tenants should treat each other with respect, patience, and understanding during this challenging time. If you have any questions about your leasing issues, especially when selling a property occupied by a tenant, please contact me at mark at realestatelawyers.ca. On behalf of myself and all of our staff and my partners at realestatelawyers.ca. We wish that you stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.